Did you know that render files can take up a significant amount of space on your hard drive, often more than the actual project files? Let's find out how to free up that space. Many users encounter storage issues because Final Cut Pro generates render files that can accumulate over time, consuming valuable disk space. These files can quickly add up, especially if you're working on large projects or have a habit of experimenting with different edits. When you make changes to your project, Final Cut Pro creates new render files to ensure your project runs smoothly. While this is convenient, it can also lead to a buildup of unnecessary files. If you're not careful, these files can quickly take over your hard drive, slowing down your computer and making it difficult to meet deadlines. As a result, it's essential to regularly clean up your render files to keep your workflow running efficiently. Let's go to the desktop and see how this is done. Let's start by taking a look at our Scratch project. Let's come here to Git Info. And we can see it's using 173 megabytes on disk. Let's go to Final Cut Pro. Go to our Scratch project. Select it. Go to File. Come down to Delete Generated Library Files. Delete Render Files, All. There's also other options for Optimized Media, Proxy Media, and Magnetic Mask Files if those apply to your project. Click OK. And now we can see that the size has decreased to 141 megabytes on disk, saving us some space. But we can do one better than this. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro and select our project. Come over to the inspector. And under Storage Locations, let's select Modify Settings. Come down to Cache. And instead of In Library, let's change it to a directory. And we'll select local episode cache in this example. And this will move all of your render files out of your project into the new cache location. So we'll just click include. Now we can see that the size hasn't changed at all. It's still 141. Let's go to local episode cache. And there's our cache file for the Scratch project. We can come back here to Final Cut Pro, close the library when we're all done. And you want to free up your space on your disk, you can safely come over here and move to trash. And you've done it. Very easy. To recap, you've learned how to identify and delete render files in Final Cut Pro freeing up essential space for your future projects. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about video editing techniques, be sure to check out my other tutorials on video editing. And if you have any questions or comments about render files in Final Cut Pro, leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one.